Hello, how are you? Hello. How was your weekend, Mary? Uh, well, this week is good. Oh, what did you do? Well, uh, today is Monday, so I just go to work. And yesterday I just stay in home. I watch TV. Okay, all right, good. And you, Norma, what did you do this weekend? Yesterday I worked in Blackburn. I'm sorry. I have... Yesterday you what, Norma? I worked in Blackburn. Ah, okay. But I have a mistake in some in some part. Mm -hmm. I will rewrite the the sentence. Okay. And yes, I see that yesterday you you work in the platform like at two in the morning. Right, Norma? Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, I, some of the mistakes you can try again to make sure they are correct. But um, if I see, uh, you had like the example. Uh, some of it was for reading and the other one is uh, for the rewriting the sentences. Yes, in the, in the chat, I, I write the sentences. What do I mistake in the sentences? I think for number two, you have to put, you can't eat or drink in the classroom. Number three is you are not allowed to wear shoes here. Mm -hmm. Because in number one, if you look at the example in number, the one that the, uh -huh, you have to turn on the lights before you leave. Yeah. So, but don't worry, you can try again. It's not a problem. You can, you can practice. And, and we check in, in, in the chat, maybe someone else have uh, the same mistake. I look. I write that some sentences and I, I have a mistake. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I don't know. In the chat, Norma put a sentence. If anybody can help her, it says, he is a movie director who made the film Hulk. What is the mistake? I think the mistake is the period, Norma. It's supposed to be one sentence. And Star mm -hmm. Wars is the other, uh-huh. <clears throat> Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. So, don't worry, we'll try. Okay, let's take a look. Let's begin with today, Norma. But, uh -huh. okay. So, today we're going to do two things. We're going to have, uh -huh. We're going to take a look at the reviewing from last week, which are the conditionals. Um, Anna, do you remember what are the conditionals? No? Jose, do you remember what are the conditionals? Conditional for for the image or the verb is in past. Okay. When when you use if in if is real, the hmm. verb is in present. Very good, no? Very good, Anna. So we have the verbs in two forms. The first is in present if it's real. If it's a real situation, we put in present and we yeah. use will, okay? If the verb 
is in past is because the situation is unreal. We imagine the situation and that's what makes it unreal. And we put the verb in the past tense. Today, we're going to begin by reviewing and practicing this in, I'm going to give you a link. The link has three conditionals, but we are only going to do number one, which is the first conditional, and number two, which is the second conditional. In the, in the link, you have the activity separated. I'm going to show you in just a moment, but hang on. I put here. I think you should be able to see. Okay. Okay, so in the link, you're going to see the part that says first conditional, okay? Here is the link, you go down a little bit, and we're going to practice the first conditional, and we're going to practice the second conditional. What is the difference? Anna explained, the first conditional is if and the verb in the present. The second conditional is if and the verb in the past with would, okay? So we are going to practice with the partner asking and answering. Now, how is that going to work? In the chat, I sent you the link that we are going to practice. As an example, we are going to have, when will you, uh, uh, what will you do when you get retired? Okay, uh, or so then with your partner, you use the conditional. If, if I retire, I will go fishing. I will uh, become a farmer. I will work in my house. This is the conditional. The first conditional, remember that the verb is in present. Jose, how is the verb in the first conditional? In simple person. Correct, the simple present, that's the key. And in the, the motto is going to be with will, with will or the verb like can or may. Now, in the second conditional, in the second conditional, how is the verb, Gerardo, in the second conditional? Okay. Raul, can you uh, go ahead? Gerardo? Simple past. In the simple past. In the simple past. And Raul, how is the motto in the second conditional? Good, might. Good, but might no, might no, but would, should, could, because it's in the past. Those yes. Okay. Good, good. The might is in the first conditional. Okay. Okay. Good. So everybody understand. We're going to practice only. Uh, re teacher, the, repeat please. Uh, the the word. Uh, for the for the first conditional or for the second conditional, Anna. For the for the first conditional <coughs> is would, could, no, no. and might. No. No, no. For the first conditional is will, can, ah, okay. and might. Ah, okay. The second might is the, is the both. No, would yes yes I would. Okay, hang on could and the other one is uh, usually would or could but sometimes um, we also use should because we oh. want to use we want to use the ones in the past the most common is will and can and the most common is would and could in the past. It's okay, Anna? Okay. All right. Lizzie, any questions? Everything is okay? 
so so teacher okay let's here is the link remember with our partner uh, okay we are going to ask and answer with our partner the first and the second conditional okay i didn't have because i didn't understand it okay now you have the link okay now let's make our groups Norma, any questions? Did you understand what to do? Uh, I um, only practice. Yes, in this moment, we are going to practice the speaking. You are going to ask okay. the questions with your partner and answer. But remember, the, the important is to use, use the grammar, use the conditional, the first or the second okay. conditional. In, in the link, give you the example for the grammar, how to use the first and how to use the second. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay, let's, let's try with this. Lizzie. Yes, teacher, you, you put me off. No, Lizzie, you need to go to the group. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Lizzie. Get deeper. If you want to relax after class, what will you watch? If you have some free time on Saturday, will you study more? What will you do? Remember, remember to answer the questions. So the important is practicing making the sentences with the conditionals. Gerardo, okay. can you repeat the question? I will give you an example. Um, uh, if you want to relax after class, what you what will you watch? Ah, okay. So, if I want to relax after class, I will watch Netflix. Okay. This is the first conditional because it's real. When I want to relax, this is what I do. That's why it's the first conditional. If I imagine no will and no watch, if I want to imagine, I use the second. If I wanted to relax, I would watch Netflix. This is the difference. The, the, the probability. Correct. That's right. So the difference is, in the first conditional is real. I imagine this is the real situation. In the second, not real, only I imagine. Okay. Norma, any questions? It's okay. Um, Norma. I don't know, Norma. Norma disappeared. disappeared. No, I uh, <laughs> Ah, okay, Norma. All right. Sorry. No, no problem, Norma. I just want I, to make it's clear I, for you. Do, do you understand? I intro in the in the site, but I don't I don't found the the quest the sentences. It's a uh, learn for the for. 
what question what 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 do you see in the site norma what do uh, you see i see el salva uh, uh, esl conversation okay okay do any you, conditional question first conditional Twenty. questions mm -hmm. Those are the questions you are going to ask Gerardo and he is going to answer. Uh, but I, I search what is the question for Gerardo, but I don't find the sentence. Let me show one moment and let me see. Do you see what this? Will win? Ah, okay. I got so it. You got it? So you go yeah. down and there are the questions. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. You. You're welcome. Gerardo, any questions? And, um, with the second conditional um, and the, the, the structure of the, the sentence, mm -hmm. uh, word plus infinity. Correct. I would go as an example if i had money i would go to the beach is would and the infinitive the verb normal okay so let me give you like this gerardo that way is clear okay so if i uh if i Okay, if you see the first verb is in the, is with had, right? It's in the past. Mm -hmm. And yes. in the second part is would and the verb in present. Because would is always, the, the motto is always in past. Would, could, uh, should, these are the ones that are in past. So in the mm -hmm. second in the second, the two parts in the past, the verb and the motto are in the past. Uh, in the past, okay. Okay, okay. Then you and Norma practice and I return. Okay. Okay. Another one with the second Mary, condition. Uh, hola, hola, Mary hola. and Lisi, any any questions? Do you understand how to make the first and the second conditional? Yes. Yes, Mary? Yes. Lisa, uh, it's okay. Yes, yes. Yes, Mary, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I have uh, I have a question mm -hmm. in the second conditional because it's, it, it's a a simple past. I think the verb is in simple past. That is correct. That but, is correct. But this in the first one, I don't see the verb in simple present. In simple past. It's totally simple past. Ah, no, no, no. The answer. The answer is ah. in simple past. The answer is in simple past. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. The verb so, in the question, in the question, oh. always the verb is in the past. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in the what answer, would you do if someone stole your car? Mm -hmm. So the answer maybe is what would you do if somebody stole your car? If somebody stole my car, mm -hmm. this this where where is the condition? Where is the verb in simple past? Mm -hmm. huh? This is where you put the verb. The model is always in the past. This is the word or could, but you put the verb in the present. I, but knowing the, in the, in the question. Mm -hmm. Not in the question, correct, not in the question. Okay. So if I, I ask you, what would you do if, if you saw a man trying to steal your car? What, how you answer? So you put your, what do you do? First, you put the if and the situation. So if someone stole my car, 
and then you put what you do. If someone stole my car, I would call the police. I would, uh, I would find uh, a friend, whatever you do, you know, would cry. Uh, okay. But a stall is in simple past. Correct. Okay. One moment. I put teacher. it for... Yes. Teacher. Yes. So always second condition is mm -hmm. in simple past. A first condition in simple present. Always. The first condition always... In, in present? simple present, uh -huh. in second condition, in simple past, but Correct. the answer, but the answer, can be um, different, in different yeah. tense. So, okay, yes, because depend the the situation if it is real or not real. Real, uh huh. So the the verse. Um, second condition and first condition, the verse in the answer mm -hmm. can be in present, can be in past, can be in future. The answers, yes, yes, it can okay. be. Yes, it's not mm -hmm. normal, it's not normal because mm -hmm. if, if they ask you in first conditional, they ask you for the, re the reality, what you do. Oh. Okay. That's why normally you put the reality. If they ask you in the second conditional, then you answer with your imagination what you do, oh, okay. you do in the second conditional. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I got it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Please help Anna. That way she understands what to do. Anna is going to join your group. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If uh, get my brain goes, I will feel really happy because you know you will learn a lot of money, you will buy things that you like and the travel and I will feel really comfortable with it. And you will be able to get the brain goes. Yeah, me too. I will uh I win a lot of money, but the journal uh, will 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 be small. Four hours only that <laughs> <laughs> for day. Four hours per day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, uh, I think you know that it works much. How much? Uh, no, no, work too much. That's a little bit. Four hours is enough. Yes, yes. Um, I, I will um, consultant. Consult? Consult, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Remember, the if is real, you put the verb in present. If you imagine, then you put the verb in past. This is the first and second conditional. Okay. Okay, so it, the- It's is, it is mm -hmm. very difficult, teacher, um, identify uh, when you use the, the real or the imagine. <laughs> The, yes, because you have to understand your decisions. It, you have you have to this, think about uh, if the if it's a possibility. If it's a possibility, then it's real. If it's not a possibility, then it's unreal. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is one of the ideas. Like it's kind of like the idea if you plan or not plan. Okay. Okay. But continue practicing, dear. That's good. You guys are doing a good job. Thank you. Uh, what is the fish? 
Sorry. E I I saw so, a man try to start my car. I call police station. Okay. If sorry, I, I, okay. If I saw a man trying to steal my car, eh, I, I will call the police. Okay. Okay. Number three. Where could you live if you could live anywhere? Sorry. If I could live anywhere, uh, I would like to live uh, in the mountain or in a Teacher, yes. We need the your help. Tell me, Gerardo. With the, with the exercise in the platform. Oh, what happened in the platform? What exercise? And uh, I don't remember the the exactly number, but it's the first the first exercises in the section five. Okay, first yes, exercise. Yes. Maybe can use the same question make uh, yesterday for you, teacher. Let me see the first exercise. Well, I, I, in, in the case of the rewriting one sentence, I put all that the correct uh, words, but one. when I uh, check, all the 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 square is red. Okay, hang on. Let me see. And also in the listening, in the in the reading part. Gerardo, is this the one? Uh, no. Yes, for me. Yeah. Okay. For me. Okay. Yes, for me. Yes. Okay. Okay. No problem. And in that one is exercise. For the, the same that we practice in this moment, the conditionals. The idea is how to use the conditionals. If you if you have three months to travel, where will you go? The audio is so bad, teacher. I don't understand when you okay. No, okay, okay. Let me, let me try it one more time. Let's see. I think. Let me try to do it and see if I can help here. I tried the entire sentence. If you have, you had and we need to complete all the sentence. I think so. To travel. I try in this moment. Let me see. Yes, you need to complete all of the sentence. So, you see, Gerardo? Yes, yes. Okay. So, I'm going to copy. You see, it's correct. So I'm going to copy and send to you the idea how is the how it works. That way you can take a look. Okay. Hang on. Because that that for you I think was the, the problem. See that you have to put the entire sentence correctly. If you don't put the entire sentence, it's going to mark wrong. Norma, do you I sent to you too, that way you can check when you do. Now, Norma, what was your question? Which which section was your question, Norma? I, I had a problem with that uh, section too, but the other is I sent to you the read article and I uh, 
underline with the the response mm -hmm. about the question in the platform. But when I uh, write that or choose that uh, option, uh, and I send, uh, I give a send, uh, mm -hmm. the, the platforms make a mistake in all that. Yes, because in body language includes posture, facial expressions, and gestures. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Through body language. Yes, that was correct because in the platform, I don't know what is the other answer. The but then when I give the same, it, it show a mistake, incorrect answer. Mm -hmm. And which section so is... means the correct answer. And which section is this, Norma? This is the number, let me see. It's a number in the, in the final exam. The part B. In, in section three, Norma? In the section, let me, let me one moment, I, I, I make that. Yeah, is the section D. There's only f the number section one, two, three, four, five, Norma. Is the fine and the, the five? letter D. Okay, let me fine see. Fine section and the letter D. Letter D. Let me see. Mm, I don't have letter D. Ah, for the final exam. The final exam. For the final exam, I understand. I understand, Norma. Mm -hmm. And you put body language includes. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. I put in this moment. Let me see if there's a mistake or they fixed. Because oh. in the case in the in the in the article says that the response, mm -hmm. but when I choose that, made me, me, me give me a, a mistake. Yes, yes, you're right. That's why we have the chat. That way you put in the main chat because that's where. The people that manage the platform, that's where they look. But the, the answer is that it's correct. correct. Words yes, and yes. body language. That's... Yes. But I, if I, 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 I show for you, uh, give me one moment. Hang on, Norma. We're gonna go back to the main page. Yeah, I I I can that one. Okay. Don't worry, Norma. We'll go back to the main page and then we'll see. I understand now what your question is. Okay. Okay. Let's see. In the second, in the second, okay, everybody's back and we're ready. Are there any questions about the conditionals or now is clear? First conditional, verb in present, second conditional, verb in past. Remember, first conditional, verb in present is real. Second conditional, verbs in past is unreal. No questions? No. No? Okay, okay. That's good. Now, that we understand a little, a little bit better. Remember, these are for, le for lesson five. This is part of section five, section five. 
Now we're going to look at a couple of things. For example, how to use the antonyms for describing. Remember last week I sent you the link for the thesaurus for the synonyms and antonyms? Yes. Okay. Yes, I, I remember. Ah, we, we were checking synonyms. Correct, correct. So today we are looking at synonyms and antonyms. In this link, we have a list of words and the opposite. Some of the words are normal words that we use, that we know. For, as an example, we use the word adult and the antonym of adult, child. Here in this list is, the, is, a, is alphabetical. It's, do you hear me? It's okay? No, teacher, I can hear you. I hear you, but, but, but you have problem with the mic, I think. I can hear you. Okay. See? And now, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Maybe. All right. So, we have a list of antonyms. Not all of the antonyms you have to memorize, but is to help you to do the exercise. The list is little by little, you need to begin to expand the vocabulary to do the antonyms. So as an example, black, the antonym, white. Tall, the antonym, short. short. Excellent, very good. So we are going to practice with our partners. We're going to ask and answer our partners. Now, we don't have to look at the list. As an example, imagine uh, my partner is, I don't know, anybody. And I ask you, okay, the, the opposite or the antonym of black. My partner is going to answer white. Clear. Or, okay. So if we have clear, what would be the opposite of clear? Dark. That's right. Dark or cloudy. Mm -hmm. Oh, cloudy. So... The idea is the list is to help you expand the vocabulary. That way it's easy to associate the two different words. So you learn one, but you have the opposite. The second link is for you to practice the exercises of, collect, of selecting the correct antonym. Okay. So first, with your partners, you go through the list that we are going to start with the letter A. We're going to begin with the letter A and we want to see if you understand those words, okay? So with your partner, only letter A, only letter A, we're going to begin practicing the antonyms. So if my partner, I, with my partner, imagine my partner is Mary, and then with Mary, I say, okay, Mary, let's begin. Mary asked me a word with A and I ask Mary a word with A, for us to practice the antonyms. Okay. Okay? When we finish the letter A, when we finish practicing, then we click the link number two. Link number two is we practice selecting the correct word. For link number two, we use the list if we don't know. If you don't know, you use the list. Okay. It's okay? Okay. Any questions? We have to we have to do the the link two. The first. Yes. No, link one I send again. Okay. That way we yes, don't have I I I had I had uh -huh. the, the link one. Okay. But I put like this. First, do this link so okay. there is a list first to like list. with the first a mm -hmm. like about opposite exactly about below 
that's the list. Correct. But we have to 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 question our partner without seeing the list. No, no you can see the list for you to practice that but okay. if the idea is if you know you is not necessary see but if you don't know you have to look okay to memorize okay. to learn okay so okay you see the first link is that the words the second link is the exercise okay okay any other questions No? No. Nope. Okay, let's practice these two things, the vocabulary and the exercise. Jose, Anna, any questions? Hi, teacher, no questions. Yes, okay. we need to practice the third lens, first of all, and then mm. to answer the exercise on the second one. Correct. The first link is for the vocabulary to help you, and the second link is to practice the exercises. Okay, Anna, you have the link, the first link? No, I can I can see. You can because my phone is very difficult to see. If you want, we can practice. Uh, for example, the first uh, could be uh, adult. Can, can you share with me the the screen, please? Okay. Okay. Good. Sure. Good idea. All right. Continue. That's a good idea. Yes. But. In the case I said the it's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Seven. What is the opposite of the break? Gerardo, are you okay? Gerardo? Hello, teacher. Hello. I have a problem with the with the internet, but okay, okay, no problem. I I send David to another group if you want. Okay. If you when you when you enter into the group, then I put you with another person. Okay. Okay. Okay, no problem. You try. David, you okay? Hi, teacher. I see you have problems with your partner, huh? He, uh, yes, he, I need to. I send you to another group. That way you practice. Okay, okay. And then right, um, maybe, maybe your, problem, your partner has problems with the internet. Okay. Okay, Thanks. I send you to another group. Lizzie, Anna, any questions? Uh -huh, sí. 
Yes. No. It's now down. Down, down. Yeah. Mm. What is the positive of to start? To stop. What is the positive to start? Stop, yes. Good. Remember, opposite. Opposite. Yes. Opposite. Good. Opposite. Opposite. Okay. Well, and the other is only the least. But I, I don't know if we have to make sentences. Okay. No, no sentences. Uh, only no vocabulary. Only, only vocabulary, yes. Only to help you in this moment with vocabulary. Okay. There are many words only with A. <laughs> yes, there are many words only with A. Yes. That's why I say not is is not that you are going to learn all of them but is beginning to expand the vocabulary little by little. Okay. Mm -hmm. David, are you okay? Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, do you understand? The first is review the vocabulary, and the second is answer the questions, and you can use the list to look for the correct answer. Oh, okay. okay, good. Yeah. Okay. The second said a hospitality. Hospitality West Sex. Um, I don't have that that link, I think, but let me see. The second. The second. Okay. The word is about. Ah, uh, exactly. I need to search the opposite. No, there is the opposite. Exactly. Yes. But about is acerca de. About? Uh -huh. No. No. No, sometimes, but not always. About. About is sometimes alrededor de. Alrededor de. Mm -hmm. And exactly is a specific. Yes. For example, from here to San Miguel, how much time? Alrededor de. About? About four, three hours. Three hours. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Two hours and 37 and minutes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> That's the difference. Mm -hmm. About is eh, more or less. Okay. Above, above is below. Above, below. Mm -hmm. Absent. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. And you? What I would do? What do you uh, do? In Lourdes, Colón. Wow. Very my... far to me. Yes. But the, the, the sound is difficult too. For transport, or violent. It's similar here. Yes. And And where are you, Anna? Uh, tell me, teacher. Where? Where are you? Uh, in my home. No, no, but in, in Lourdes, in San Juan Pico, in San Miguel. Yeah, I live in Cocatacingo. And you, teacher, where you live? In Lourdes. Lourdes, too. <laughs> wow. Yes, in <laughs> Lourdes, uh -huh. Colón or Lourdes? Oh. Uh -huh, in Lourdes, Colón. Colón, teacher. I live yes. in Lourdes, wow. too. 
<laughs> you see what I'm saying? Maybe I see you in the street and you don't know. <laughs> yeah, it could be. <laughs> could be. <laughs> okay. Uh, any questions? Everything is okay? It's okay, teacher. We had to say. Jose, for you it's okay? Yes, uh, we were practicing about the meaning and some and, uh, some work, and oh. we did the exercises. Good, good. Now we're going to go back to the to the normal group. Okay. 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 <coughs> good. Okay, were there any questions? Oh, no, teacher. Okay. Now we're going to practice asking and answering. But in this case, we're going to try to practice, try to write our answers. Okay. So, as you can see, I have a question. What would you do if you found a thousand dollars? And then the idea is you answer. So we're going to we're going to try, but we're going to practice with the writing, not with the speaking, okay? We're going to write the questions to our partner and our partner is going to answer. But in the same moment, our partner is going to ask a question and we are going to answer. The idea is to try to go quickly and use different conditionals. We, all of the questions with if, 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 okay? I, I don't understand. Okay, so imagine I, I have here, okay? I'm making you the question right now. And then you answer it. Uh, okay. Go ahead, yeah. everyone, everyone, everyone. Let me see the answers from everybody. Everybody yeah. write their answers. Uh, Let me see how you're writing this. Let me see. Keep going, keep going. Here's the next question. Let's go quickly, quickly, quickly. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Mary answered. Norma answered. Lizzie answered. Okay. Hey, what happened with the boys? Raul, what happened? Uh huh. Jose, good, good. I see Jose. All right. Mm -hmm. Then we already have question number two. Let's see the answers. Ah, David, would you Look, like? David would sleep the same as Mary, if the two I sleeping. Not... <laughs> <laughs> ah, David and Mary sleeping. No. Everybody is sleeping. I, if, yeah. I will. Tucson, eh, hey, Norma? Nice, nice. Okay. Yeah. La Pampa. Oh, huh. Hmm. What country would you like to visit if you have money? Mm -hmm. If I have the money. 
Uh, Raul, I don't see you. Ah, I see, I see. If I didn't have a class, I would watch a movie. Okay, good. Now, uh, Lizzie, I don't know now. What's now? Is Chinese food? Is American? Is is Japanese food? Ah, uh, it is a restaurant that um, served uh, sushi. Okay, okay. I I like the sushi. <laughs> okay. I love it the sushi. <laughs> okay, good. Ah, Norma, you like to go to Argentina. Okay, good. Norma, yes. I need only I need you to make complete sentence for the travel to Argentina. What is the correct motto? I would, I will. I would. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, I need to I need to see the writing. I need to see the writing. David Good. If I had the money, I'd like if I had the money, I'd I'd like to visit some Ah, Mary, remember, in the in the case with if is good that is correct but in the second part you need to put would could should you need to put in the more in the past tense okay uh -huh. Uh -huh. like you see okay. the example of raul raul, raul is correct mm -hmm. if i had enough money i would visit peru mm -hmm. i would visit peru okay okay, okay. all right no, that's very good that's very good we are going to continue again tomorrow practicing fine. this is the okay. idea the idea is to be able to to do fluently to be able to do easily. Like to tomorrow Tomorrow we are going to continue, uh -huh. and remember to continue working in the platform. Remember, the platform, you need to have 80 or more. We are almost finished with the platform. This is the last yes. week. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining the class. Have a wonderful night, and I see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.